so a couple of days ago we noticed the temperature on the freezer was starting to climb when you open it it sounds like it's working you can hear it you can hear it running it feels cool but you don't feel anything blowing here in the fan <sighs> so we saved our ice cream garrett and carolyn have it over next door once we reached the KOA and got plugged in, Bella noticed that the refrigerator temperature was climbing. And we'd had the door open for a while, so we thought maybe it was that. But then it's not cool in here either, and you don't feel any air flowing. What we're trying to do right now is just empty out the refrigerator. Um, I called a couple of repair places. One person said that it's probably your compressor and it would cost $1,000 in labor alone. So I called another place, left a message. I called a third place that the first place recommended. Are you still with me? Um, and they're finishing up a job, said that they could come out and take a look at it um, this evening. So we're waiting on them. So in the meantime, we just figured we would empty everything out of the refrigerator, even if it didn't need to remain cold. That way it was kind of open for the repairman to take a look and see what needs to be done. Fingers crossed we don't need a whole new refrigerator because I'm pretty sure this thing is bolted in and I don't know how to unbolt it. <laughs> some muscle work with all four of us. We got it out. It was not the compressor. Well, it's not right. are leaving came in and took a look at the fridge said it could be the motherboard they had an older one laying around the shop but it'd be 200 bucks for the part probably another 200 bucks to put it in and it's on the bottom of the fridge which would be a pain in the butt to get to which is why labor would be so high and they said that still may not be the problem the compressor wasn't cold so it could be the compressor and we were quoted by someone that it would cost like a thousand bucks to fix the compressor it was either 4860 today for the service call or 400 bucks to put in a motherboard that may or may not correct the problem the fellow said that this particular model of refrigerator um usually lasts about five or six years he says it was a crappy model so yeah yes Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> and it says it was manufactured in June of 2016, although we've only had this rig for a couple of months shy of three years. It, it's like, do we sink a $400 investment into this and it still not work? Or do we just bite the bullet? We're, I think we're going to bite the bullet. Yep. Thank God for an emergency fund and for great neighbors, <laughs> great friends caravanning. Um, who are making dinner right now while we kind of process everything. So I think we're going to take a trip to Lowe's or the Home Depot and check out refrigerators. We might go with something smaller. Save some space because getting this out of here might be tricky. They took the doors off. We measured. We might have to take the fire extinguisher, the handlebar, and maybe Will's armor door off to slide it through the hallway and then pivot 90 degrees and tilt it and get it out the door. And then we gotta get a new one in. That's where we are right now. Can always be worse. You know, tomorrow is just gonna be a fun day. So it might just be a refrigerator day. Yep. That's life, that's, that's the RV. We're rolling with it, folks. Like we've said before, when we've had troubles, you know, we could cry, we could get angry, we could curse the world, but you know, it's not gonna do us a bit of good. Um, we're just gonna roll with it and the good Lord will take care of us and it'll all work out. As it does.
I think this is day three of refrigerator fiasco. Um, so as you can see by all of our fabulous footage, we tried to get the refrigerator out our RV door. It would have fit had we been able to pivot the fridge in the hallway. Unfortunately, the hallway is just too narrow. So we weren't able to do that. So brainstorming different ideas and aside from having a chainsaw to <laughs> saw the bugger in half, we resorted to other measures as you can tell. which surprisingly wasn't so terrible so that we can get that silly thing out of here. I called the KOA, said, hey guys, I'm so sorry. We're not trying to junk up your park, <laughs> but this is the issue we have going. Um, the gal in the office was so understanding. She's like, oh, I got a res residential refrigerator too. I totally understand. Do what you got to do. So thank you, Almagordo KOA for being so understanding. Um, luckily we're kind of back in the corner here so there's only one RV next to us and then there's nothing that's the the end of the park so um, luckily we're not junking the place up and we've got the refrigerator parts in the back of the truck we're gonna see if Lowe's or Home Depot has a replacement fridge that they can deliver and haul away um, otherwise we'll just deliver and install ourselves we know how we got it out we know how we can get it back in and then just find a so cool yeah it's I just gotta send this one to Todd oh my gosh um yeah Todd with two beards and a babe uh, we have no training he is the uh, the RV training guru but but we're we're just we're just going for it and thank goodness for Garrett and Carolyn over here with Diary of a Family so they could come and lend us some muscle and help us out. Um, but yeah, it's just before nine o'clock in the morning. We're gonna run to the store and get a replacement so we can get it in. We can get the window back in and then pray to God this is it for disasters for a long, long time. So send us your your good vibes. All right, off to the store. Did you break in? Yeah. So, you broke into their house and you're taking their car keys and now you're gonna take the truck? Yep. Oh, Grand Theft Auto! That's why we travel together. <laughs> oh dear. All right, well. I guess we have to see what a dually is like. Go get them, a, go get them their truck so they can bring back their new fridge, huh? Get all the the weather stripping on there. That looks good. Up against the wall. 
Ten minutes of this. <laughs> getting it out of the RV. We tried the door because we thought we could swing the corner and get it out of there. No dice. So we ended up taking out the entire rear window of the fifth wheel. Yep. Which was daunting. But Actually, not, that part was pretty easy. Yeah, not difficult. That was probably the easiest part of this whole day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. so then we went to Basically, we got the fridge at Lowe's. It was a floor model, so they gave us an extra amount off. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much the same thing that we had in there before. Yep, except newer. So Took it back. Last. Lifted it back through the window. And then we had, well, we're still working on it. Having a little trouble getting her level and to be able to sit so that the doors can open without rubbing on the sides. And yeah. So figuring that out. But we got to a point where we thought, hey, let's go have some fun, because God bless Garrett and Carolyn. Yes. We kept telling them, go, go have fun, we'll figure this out. And they stuck around and helped us. They were determined. Yes. And they have that stick to itness that just kind of kept us pushing, kept us driving able to get it done and we still have like three or four hours of good daylight um, so you know what what better way or what better thing to do you know after you've had a long stressful day than to go out and play and have some fun and blow off some steam yep. so where are we headed guys white sands white sands white sands national park national monument we visited hey. So sure, it was a monument when we visited. Oh, now it's official. Okay. National Park. Okay. Yes. Yes, I get things backwards. You are correct. It's on camera. You're correct. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, write it down. <laughs> ah, so yeah, we're about probably ten minutes away or so. So we're gonna show you around. Yeah. Follow us on our adventure. Here we go. Whee!